actual GUI installation. So we downloaded the file, we extracted the zip file, and now we have the old zip file right here, and we have this new file folder that we extracted all the files to. Now, the next step is very, very important. This is where probably most people make a mistake. Um, they drill into this zip file. Right. If you double click this, you, you can drill into the zip file and then they try to start the installation from within the zip file. That does not work. This will definitely give you an error message. So make sure that the next step you do is that you drill into the file folder. So this one right here, I'll double click this folder. And and I just have to double click a few more folders. The next one is this presentation 7.5. Simply double click this. Then the next folder is called Prez1, double click that. Then the next folder is called the GUI folder right here, double click that. Then the next folder is Windows because I'm installing the Windows GUI. If I were installing the Java GUI, it would say Java right now, but I'm not. I'm installing Windows, so double click Windows. Then one more, this one is called Win32, double click that. And we finally get to the installation folder and scroll down to the bottom of this folder and notice at the very bottom of the list I have a file called setup all. That is the file you need to double click to start the installation of the GUI. Setup all. So I'm going to double click this and, and this will start what's called the front end installer. It'll pop up. Uh, takes a couple of minutes to analyze a few files. Uh, really, the next pop-up is more important because that's where you get to select a few GUI components. So each GUI includes several components. Some of them are needed, others are optional, and I'll give you a little bit more information about it when we get to that point, but this might actually take a few minutes. So I'm going to put myself on hold again, and I'll be right back. Okay, that didn't take too long. I'm back. Um, this is now the front end installer or the wizard they call it to install the GUI. All you have to do is click next. And here are these components that I mentioned. So all of these components are available in the GUI that I have downloaded. When you hover your mouse over them, it actually tells you on the right side what this is used for, which is very useful. You can also open these components and select subcomponents for each. So for example, I just opened this Business Explorer component and it includes two subcomponents. So it gets pretty complex very quickly. And that's the reason why I, my approach always is I install the minimum necessary because I know I can always go back into this installation and I can add the other components later as I need them. So, and that's what I would suggest you do too. So. Let's just install the very minimum, which is the GUI itself, of course. That's this component right here, SAP GUI for Windows 7.5. That's the version I downloaded. And because I also work a lot with the Business Explorer, that's the BI system or BW system, Business Warehouse or Business Intelligence system. Um, this allows me to run reports in Excel, for example. So I'm going to include that too. So I got these two components, Business Explorer and really the SAP GUI for Windows. That's the main part, right? These are the two that I'm going to install. And remember, if you ever want to come back and install other components, you simply just go back to that setup all file, start that again, and then you can pick additional components right here. Um, this will also tell you how much space you need on your computer and how much you have available. So that can be very helpful. And then all you have to do after you selected your components is click next. And then it asks you, where do you want to install this GUI to? And I always just accept the uh, default folder right here. Click next. Same thing for the business explorer. It's asking me if wh where I want to install this to. I just accept the uh, default, click next. And this will start the installation now. Uh, depending on how many components you have selected, this can take quite a while. Um, if you select all the components, I bet you it'll run for an hour. Um, 
but I selected only these two components, the GUI itself and the Business Explorer. So this should probably run, I don't know, five or ten minutes. Once that's done, um, then we'll continue. But for now, I'll put myself on hold again. And I'm back. My installation has finished successfully. Got the green check mark here. All I have to do is hit close and we're done. Congratulations, you have installed the GUI on your computer. Now in the next uh, lesson, we'll talk about how to actually add your SAP system or our SAP system uh, to the GUI so that you can log in.